he made me feel really comfortable about the idea of even thinking about it, even entertaining the idea. And I wouldn't be here if he wouldn't have twisted my arm, both of my arms, several times in a very clever way that didn't hurt me. <laughs> the biggest surprise was probably how make-believe it all is. That it's illusion more than reality. And I think when I read the script, I was thinking, and when, you know, I actually, Steve convinced me and made me feel comfortable in, in taking these roles, I thought to myself, okay, well, you know, I get to smack a lot of people around, I get to die a couple times, I get to rape somebody, my goodness, this, this is all great, but how the hell am I going to do that, you know? I saw in my mind, you know, I'm going to have to hit people, and, you know. I didn't realize that how much of it was really illusion. Stepping back and looking through the camera eye, every time I had a question, Steve would go, look. And I'd look through it and go, oh. He's so used to these visions of his and these colors and these juxtaposition of form. It's so vivid in his, in his spirit. So he's, he's, in that sense, he's like Hitchcock, because a lot of the movie's already in him, and he's not, he's not uh, sorting about finding it or having to think about things in, in, a, in a heavy way. So he's lighthearted, and it's been fabulous working with him.